What's up, everybody, and welcome to a quick holiday edition of This Week in Madden. It's ultimate free season. Shout out to EA for providing these items for review. You see Terrell Pryor as the quarterback, Deion Sanders out wide, Marvin Harrison, Adrian Peterson, Tavon Austin out of position, Kraus, and then you have Brian Erlacher, Jason Peters, and Poe at fullback along with Donald Penn. So, now, we've broken down most of these items in our player reviews on this channel, but I wanted to show you how the lineup looks once you get everybody in there. There's a lot of out-of-position players like the Landon Collins, but then there's a lot of ghosts like Levante David, Justin Houston, uh, Champ Bailey of the past, Jalen Ramsey of the future, uh, Shaq Thompson's out of position, Keaton and Allen at free safety's out of position, Honey Badger's out of position right there, and then you have ghosts of the present like the Adrian Peterson, like the Indomitian Sioux. The purpose of tonight's kind of show episode slash, you know, it's the holidays, so uh, we won't be live or together, but I wanted to give you a scheme to take advantage of mobile quarterbacks. Right here you see Ben Roethlisberger and Tim Hightower as kind of trick players. Um, Dion at kick returner, probably the best in the game. So run and gun is a good playbook, but it's very, very expensive in Ultimate Team, so I didn't want to utilize the run and gun playbook because if I gave you a good scheme, then it's going to cost you 80,000 coins potentially to have to use it. So I am going to give you a Panthers offensive scheme. This first one is the run heavy playbook and it only has two shotgun sets and notice we sub in Donald Penn and then we sub in Jason Peters. So we have two tackles who are at tight end and then you can sub them into wide receiver. So you're getting a lot of beef on the outside edge to potentially be able to run with the quarterback. Good blocking, Maybe some read options mixed in. Maybe some shovel options mixed in. And here you see a good seal for Adrian Peterson who takes it across for the first down. A note on this, if you're looking for a competitive scheme that is going to win you a lot of games and help you climb the leaderboards, this is not it. This is much more of a team-specific meta where because we have the quarterback we have, because we have the team we have, you can wait and be super patient. Right there you saw Adrian Peterson on that wheel route. This is a very unique passing play inside this run heavy playbook. I think it's called double drags. I really like it. And right there we're trying to run with uh, Pryor. And you'll notice he was fast enough. We do throw it to Donald Penn for the touchdown. So we did have some fun with these items, getting Donald Penn a score as he blows the kiss right there. But when we get the ball back on offense, we go down to the full house and we sub in some good players. So we've got fullback Poe in the game, we've got Peters, and then we're gonna get uh, Donald Penn in the game at fullback, and we're gonna try and run the ball and just see if we can overpower. And right there you see we miss the blocks and it doesn't work out for a game. Right here we try and go off the edge, but we cut back in the middle. We just weren't getting the left stick cuts that we needed uh, from these plays here. We go on third and nine, we're looking just across the formation, trying to use some different motions with those big guys. I mean, you can send Penn and Peters out on routes. They actually caught the ball a lot better than I thought they would. Um, as long as you get them open, they seem to do pretty well. I mean, you don't want to rely on it if you don't have to. But we look to go to the single back jumbo here. Once again, we're subbing in out of position Erlacher, who's a tight end. And we're subbing in Peters. We're subbing in Poe. And we're just trying to get some push. And we feel like we should be able to block almost anybody, any front with that but you see it just doesn't work out that way and you know they are good receivers but if you try and throw to them when they're covered here good patience good patience as Y goes upfield we think he's gonna get open but ultimately gets cut off and the interception is thrown so I love to play a freeform style with this type of team with a mobile quarterback uh, there wasn't a ton of playmakers in my lineup uh, with the ability chemistry. I did have Deion Sanders with the ability chemistry. Deion, as fast as he is, couldn't burn anybody, and he just couldn't get open if you just put him on a streak downfield. And right there, you know, he tossed it out to the right, we got the stop, and then he went right back to it, and we didn't get the stop, even though we potentially tried to defend against it, so that was tough. But here you just see us with Pryor, there's Peters across the middle, and we possession caught it. I mean, he's got a bigger body, but he still is able to hang on the ball. And then, we take off with Pryor up the middle. He gets us 10 yards. 50 seconds left. We're just trying to roll, trying to see what we can do. Um, if he's not going to, you know, cover up the middle, then we're going to be as patient as we can. Pryor rolling, 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 just buying time. And then almost the interception right there as we come back across the middle. But I like this little Tavon Austin route right here to the left. And I'm noticing he's got nobody on the left side of the screen. So before the snap, 
Nobody on the left side of the screen. That's the number one thing. He can't contain you from there. It's just impossible physically for his defender to be able to contain the quarterback right there. So we run it up the middle. And with nine seconds left, third and 17, we go up top. Jeremy Shockey, one shot in the end zone, high pass. And Pryor made a lot of throws. He did overthrow a lot of throws, and he did have some accuracy issues. But he was good enough. 17-14, uh, we're trying to find a way to get back downfield here. We trail by three, and we're trying to go downfield to RB, and Penn hangs on to that one. So another nice catch right there from the tackle. Turn tight end, turn wide receiver. Uh, but on fourth and four, our opponent gets the ball back, and he just fights and gets across. And then on third and goal, same thing. We finally lock up that run, and we're like, all right, we're going to get the ball. We're going to be up three, or we're going to be down six. And he fakes it. He fakes it. He goes up over the top, and we lose the game here with the run-heavy playbook because he faked it. And I'm like, you know what? This challenge isn't over. We're going to Carolina. We're on to Carolina, and Deion Sanders... That's not sped up. That's how fast Deion Sanders is. Kick return touchdown ties the game at 7. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I did the Carolina Panthers playbook because they have the most probably QB runs in the game, the most speed options. This is Pistol Week Twins, and you see right there, carry the ball. And now, ultimately, Pryor's carrying the ball in a very specific fashion. Like, he's not really getting to full speed right there. So that's why that play and the shovel option isn't quite as great as it is always is going to like as just a regular run would be because your running back's always going to run faster than your quarterback might here we're just trying to find patience get downfield throw the ball away and we have to force it but the play action built off and, and right there it's just the quarterback runs they're 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 tough to get the footing where you want to go here we do sneak up the middle with prior and he's good for that and the game's improved a lot since the patch in the that regard of being able to run with the quarterback here on first and ten you see it uh, we're able to get the throw to Hopkins. Possession catch. We're down by six right now. It's the fourth quarter. And I just lost track of the clock in this situation. I ran out of time. I had three timeouts. I just was not paying attention. I was trying to figure out this playbook, figure out my lineup. And I got too complacent. I was like, I want to show these guys some runs. I want to show them read options. And you see, I wasted 30 seconds between that for no reason other than just subbing in. 71 in the game. That's QB power from Trips tight end. QB power is the run right there from Carolina. I gave you this uh, similar scheme to this last year. And like I said, is it a fun scheme? Yes, it can be. Fourth and four, is it the scheme that's going to win you a ton of games? Obviously not, because we just lost this one here with nine seconds to go. And then I was like, you know what? I got to fight and play one more time. We're going back to the Panthers playbook. This is the gun Y Trips tight end slot formation. And look who we're subbing in once again. Penn, Peters, and they, they do hold their blocks. I mean, guys can certainly get off the blocks of the QB power. You're going to see it right here. So, you know, watch what happens on the right side of the screen here. 72 gets a block shit. And, you know, or he blocked him inside, and maybe I got to go outside. I thought the run's off the corner. But leaves us with a third and two. You want to see, you know, just more pancakes if you get those guys out there. We go to the buck sweep read option right here. Madden 25, great play. Uh, we'll see if we can get off the edge right here. Remember, Penn's out there. Erlacher's out there. Trying to find a way. Do we want to hold on to it or hand it off to Peterson? We hand it off, and we just 77 hops in our way, and we're ultimately stuck. We do pick it up, though, and on first and 10, we just go back to straight handing off the ball on the read option to AP. Then we go under center. I really wanted to take some deep shots to Dion downfield. Block shed got in. I couldn't escape to the edge. Sue, fourth and two. And this, you know, prior Doug Baldwin, you know, you've got some options now with scrambling quarterbacks. We're starting to see quarterbacks approach 90 speed and I feel like that is a time where you can take advantage of the speed a little bit but it's it's still difficult to run with the quarterback here with the playmaker ability chemistry you can put one receiver on a drag and then AP on this little quick out so you'd, you'd streak everybody AP on a little quick out and then maybe Dion on the left on a, on a drag and then you can send him upfield that way you know who you're going to get control of to send up field and he'll get a real quick cut against zone coverage so you know outs are still working prior can make those throws as long as you don't get too aggressive. Here we just go straight power with uh, AP. Try and get it in. We're trailing 10 nothing right now, and we haven't got a W. Super frustrating, and I wanted to make sure I got a win. You know, this type of streak right there, like, I just wanted Dion to outrun somebody. And here you see RB, great work right there by Peterson, rack catch. And that's, you know, the most fun I have playing is when I do that. I just started to streak guys at the end of this game. We're down by four points because we went for two. And we got Peterson going underneath. Those 
quick outs out of the backfield became huge for us. We sneak it in with Pryor, and we go up 13-10. But with 20 seconds left, we need a goal line stand, and we stand up on first down. We stand up on second down, Brian Erlacher, big time right there, 13-13. We go to overtime, and I've got this last drive for you guys. Just wanted to say, you know, happy holidays to everybody out there. And not obviously in the regular setup here with the video, but wanted to give you just kind of a fun Carolina thing to check out. We, you know, it's similar to every holiday, but the point is just to have fun with it and use the out-of-position players to the best of their ability and find the guys who are the budget players that have that specific specialty that you can get the most out of. I mean, you could already sub in a tackle at tight end, so you don't even need Penner Peters to get him at tight end. And, you know, there's really good run blockers out there. You could already sub a tight end, like a Vance McDonald, in at receiver. So, yes, these guys help a lot, but this scheme isn't very expensive. Uh, this is kind of just a cheap, fun way. Here you see with the pitch man being all the way out on the right. Remember, this is all in the Carolina playbook, so it won't cost you too much. You don't have to go to run and gun. You don't have to go to Wildcat. Um, there's some options. It's a tough scheme. You need to really learn the read, the read keys, the pitch keys. Like, you have to learn all that stuff because it's different against different fronts. Like, sometimes it, it, it works the opposite of how you think it's going to work, triple option. But, you know, third and five, I've got Peters off that left edge, and David Johnson can't pick it up. So now we... We go for it. We go for the win here on this week in Madden. Fourth and four. Just trying to get a W. Can we hit Peters maybe to the flat? Is he going to hang on? Is he the guy you want to trust? You want to trust Penn and Peters throwing the ball with it in your hands? I don't think so. We go underneath to Johnson. Rack catch. Beautiful, beautiful gain. I went back and looked at that play after the game, and nobody else would have gotten me the yardage I needed right there. So now we're just trying to find a couple more plays here. Gun bunches in Carolina. Mixed in with some of these plays. I don't think quarterback fumbles are a huge issue. So you can actually run with the quarterback without fumbling too much. And that's something that's pretty nice. But um, we go downfield to Deion Sanders. He was good. I think I tried to use him in a way that wasn't beneficial. I mean, he's got high spec catch. He's super fast. But I just wanted to burn people, man. And I don't think that's his game. I don't think that's any receiver's game, really, since Cooks uh, did earlier in the season. But just not anymore. And right there with Peterson, we finally break a big run here out of the Carolina playbook, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to get you a W here in overtime. I'm going to let them carry it out. Until next time, make sure to follow that channel. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. We'll be back with more videos all week long. Until next time, don't forget, guys, lock up.